Hi and welcome to Python tutorial of club member registration system. Let me show you guys how this system works. I've already populated it here but if I click on reset we have a dialog box that asks you to confirm if you would like to add a new record. If I said ok, new record that goes off and I could then add whatever record I intend to add. Let's say the name is Davis and the other name is King address of David King number four Hill Road postcode JJ8 and telephone number and the date of registration Proof of ID, a pilot license, type of membership, let's say maybe pay as you go member, and uh, method of payment is a uh, membership fee for the five pounds. Add that. There we go. Okay, so the other thing that we can do is we can also click on the reset and when this dialog box asks you to confirm if you would like to populate you can always click on cancel and there the whole system is gone and we can also reset no you don't want to yes you want to exit there so what we're going to do now is to start a new project using uh, the python editor here I'm going to start by entering the following libraries. Okay, we need that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to create a class, and this class I'm going to call it registration. And there we go. Then the next thing I would like to do is to define as follows. Let's say define a function space underscore underscore. And let's initialize it underscore underscore and it's going to be self on comma root there. Now the next thing I'd like to do is the following will be defined. Let's indent paste and that's going to be self dot root Set dot roots equals root, and the other thing is going to be my title self dot root dot title equals club member club member registration system. There we go. And let's define the geometry. That's going to be for the dimension of the system. So the geometry is going to be 1350 times 750 plus 0 plus 0. The plus 0 plus 0 means when the system starts, it will actually start right on the left hand side. Now the next thing is set dot root equals let's configure it. Configure that's going to be for the background. The background color in this case I'm gonna make that black. Close that. Now that all of that are in place, the next thing I like to do is to I'm going to declare the following variable for my system. This is going to be date order that will be used to generate the date. And this very date, I might as well just enter the following method to generate the date itself. So, my variable of date of order dot set as follows time dot that is the method st frame time 
then we will have to enter percentage for D that's going to be date then we also need backslash another percentage for M that is going to be for the minute then backslash and another percentage for Y that's going to be for for the year okay day month and year now I will then declare the following variables okay so let me say variable string one and copy that I need about four of those okay select it all and get it de-indented taking long all right and this is variable number two three and four the number four I'm going to leave that as integer right and the other variables that I would declare are as follows right those are the other variables that I intend to use so while we're here we might as well just save it okay so let's come in in here and just there we go underscore that all right that is the name of my system member registration number click on save right okay now that it's saved, the next thing is let's round it up here. So let's enter there. So we've rounded up the system. I would like to try it out, but I might end up with some error. Because I was meant to enter a comma there, a column, I mean, and in here, close that. That's supposed to be double bracket, and that is it, I think right so this is how it looks now if i run it you just see a you only see a frame a black frame so let's run it to see what i'm talking about there we go that's it nothing is happening now the next thing i like to do is is to create all my frames so right here i'm going to just add a comment there i'm just going to call that frame Let's see. Right. So the first frame, I'm going to call that main frame. And let's use a lowercase. I supposed to get it indented. Right. Main frame equals frame and it's going to be inside self dot root right that is my main frame okay then the next thing is I'm going to pack it up or maybe enter it inside the grill name frame dot grid equals nothing then I now need let's create a frame I will call okay let's just call it title frame title frame is going to be a frame that will be inside main frame and uh, the border I'm going to make that 20 then uh, Let's say the weight is going to be approximately 1,000, 1,350, and I'm going to pad it. Make the padding. I'm going to make that about 26. And relieve equals reject. There. 
close that and I will now pack this title frame dot pack right if I run it I meant to specify where it should be here let's say size equals top right. if I run it now hopefully I shouldn't have any problem with the indentation let's see now I have an error okay wrong spelling I think where is it right let's change that to now save and run again there it's nothing is showing but it's right there so what I'm going to do is right underneath here I'm going to I say self dot lbl title that will be a label equals label and this very label it's going to be resident inside title label here comma and let's say font equals area and that is going to be equals to 50 comma 50 comma comma bold there let's speed that up okay let me change this to about 50 something that is the title they set if I run it now you guys should be able to see the frame in action itself there we go that's the frame okay let's continue the next thing I would like to do now that the title is there and so on I'm just going to speed up the whole process of the frame okay the other thing I've done is to create the other frames that I will use for all my objects so there they are the top frame and the lower frame the one I call lower frame so the next thing I like to do is create some other widget so that's going to be well, first thing first let's run it so that you see how the framework look like let's run that save there we go that's how it looks for now okay close that and let's continue all right the next thing is to create a label here let's copy this and paste it right on it here right so I'm going to copy this very one the very first label is going to be known as reference reference number okay let's just enter it all as reference number copy this as well and make this a reference number and the title here is going to be reference number right now let's make bd equals 7 there and this reference number is going to be inside rule it's going to be on rule 0 column column is going to be zero as well equals zero all right now we need it to be inside members name members name framework copy that and paste this right in there get it indented properly that is correct now let's run it we should be able to see that inside the left hand frame okay there should be a comma here now run it again there we go that seems to be too big I need to change 
the font size let's change it to about 14 and we'll try it one more time there we go all right I'm now going to add a reference I might as well copy all of this again and this will become a text box txt is actually called entry it's not a text box here entry and this one is called txt reference and this will be on row zero column one and we don't have anything for that get rid of that we're going to need variables as time goes on so what about the state the very state of this one i would like it to be disabled state equals disabled right and the width comma let's say insert width I'm going to make that 2 equals 2 and let's run it and see how it's, how it's going to look like there we go okay the state of this is disabled because the system will automatically allocate reference number now I'm going to copy this to speed up the rest copy come right down here and let's speed up the rest in this case the state is going to be normal state so i can delete this or enter normal on it so let's delete that and the name of this is going to be first name change this to first name as well and this as well and this is column one Rule one. Okay, now let's run this and see. That is it. Number two taken care of. Apart from this, that needs to be changed instead of reference number. That is meant to be first name. Right. So let's speed that up now. Okay, guys. This is how it looks now. It is exactly the same lines of code and different different entry. Okay, I'm going to run it so that you guys see it. There we go. That's how it looks now. Now I like to assign the declared variables here. Look at those variables. There they are. All of those variables. I would like to assign them individually to those widget that we just created so the first variable here this one it's let me just say text variable equals I think that is going to be ref reference okay, copy that and the other one is going to be for for name so that's going to be first name then followed by surname here so that is surname and we have address the next variable that was declared is postcode I can recall if that's the right spelling let's see postcode yeah okay so lowercase copy that and just paste it in there postcode there and then followed by telephone Come on. and finally date I think I was I'm a 
going to be using this very date of all that is very one that will be used for that copy that come right down here and paste and comma that is that day. done so if I'm using that data might as well delete this very one I don't need this anymore yeah okay that's all that done if I run it this is how it's going to look like nothing is nothing has changed that much now right underneath here I would like to create combo box so okay the rest of the widget has been completed let me show it to you guys let's take it from where we stopped earlier I'm going to get rid of this okay let's take it from here have a good look at it that's a label and this label is with this combo box there's another combo box here with a label that's another label and a combo box as well just three of those so have a good look at the lines of codes I've already entered all of the variables that I need and in here that's a checkbox and a text box the text box is disabled right see that so I'm going to run it so that you see what I'm talking about there we go okay now you can just select whatever data you want in here here we will use a function to get this working now in here let's take care of this side so the first thing I would like to do in there is to create the following that will be my receipt area and the first thing that will be for the receipts I'm going to need a label so let's enter a label there. I'm going to copy this and paste it there. And this label is going to be for the title. Let's see. Yeah, for the title. So let's get rid of this label receipt title. Oh, okay. Let's just call it LBL label right lbl label it's a label anyway for the receipt and the same thing here and this label is going to be resident inside receipt frame let's copy the receipt frame receipts yeah receipt underscore button frame there paste it in there the size make that 12 or 10 and get it parted let's say I'm gonna get it parted about that's a 10 yeah and here the most important bit is going to be the text inside the text I'm going to need the titles so the first title is going to be member member reference slash and a tab the T stands for tab then the next one is surname or first name and a tab followed by surname backslash tab and we have address backslash tab let's make that too then we have date we have the date of registration 
date of reg backslash tab and telephone backslash tab then member paid right that should do that now the next thing we want to do is uh, to specify the row is going to be zero column zero and let it let the column span equals four right that's done okay i'm going to run this let's see how it's going to look like there that is it right there okay now underneath is going to be my it's going to be the the reset right underneath so i'm going to copy all of this paste and change this to that will be txt reset copy TXT receipt as well this is column one and all of this will go everything here goes there all right what else do we need on the receipt I need the width and that's fine wait okay let's enter the width about that and height and we made that maybe 22 right okay and this is supposed to be text widget is text I'm gonna get rid of this I don't need them for now that's it okay let's run it and see how it's gonna look like there we go we now have the receipt in place as well and underneath I'm going to add buttons let's add three buttons so that will be very fast just one of those and buttons there so the very first button is going to be self dot btn let's say reset and it's going to be right inside the same thing equals button and it's inside this paste right and the pardon for that let's get it parted to about there's a comma pad equals 18 equals seven and the font paste that there that is maybe sixteen all right what about the width do we need the height I don't think so paste the width there Thirteen, and the text on this one is going to be text equals reset cover this up let's indent this right that is the text okay let me close it for now and just say dot grid that will be roll 
rho equals two. This is rho zero here. Yeah, that's rho equals two here. E equals two and column e equals zero. First column is zero. Now I'm just gonna copy this receipt. This here call button call receipt and two. And the next one is reset. This will be column one. This is column two. Right, and this is exit. The content here is exit. And this is reset. And I guess that's that's all for the button. So let's run it and see how it's going to look like. There we go, guys. This is how it looks now. But nothing is happening. So what I want to take care of now is all these buttons and uh, when we enter any data in here I want to be able to click on this and all of the data appears on my application form or receipt form whatever you like you can call it. So that's what I want to achieve now and the data in here they will remain so. Okay let's take care of the exit first. So, I scroll right up, we have the button section, the receipt section, the checkbox, and here have combo box and labels. Okay, now let's go up, we have some labels here and some entry, which you guys have already seen on the part one. okay now let's go up here so right here right underneath here that's where I'm going to create my function so the first thing I would do is I'm just going to break it apart so that you guys know the difference right now let's define function here functions to create Okay, the first one, like I said earlier on, is going to be my exit button. So we'll start by saying let's define I exit, enter parentheses and column. Let me move it up a little bit so that you can see it. And right there, I'm going to say I exit equals TK inner. dot message box that is it right there dot this is going to be ask yes or no there we go look at it ask yes or no now in there I'm going to enter the following that is club Club member registration system. Let's copy and paste that there. And close that. And comma. And here I'm going to now enter my comment. Confirm if you want to exit. This is giving our end user a choice to confirm if they actually want to exit or not. And now let's use an if statement to verify the end user's option. If I exit is greater than zero, then root dot destroy. There we go. And let's enter return there. There, that's it. 
So all I need to now do is to call this. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. Let's go right down. You see the button that is called exit right here. So in here, just before the dot braille, I'm going to enter comma command equals I exit. So let's try that out. So if I run my program now, there. And let's give that a go. Click exit. There we go. No, I do not want to. Now exit. Yeah, it's working. So exit is done. Back up there. Okay, the next one is let me take care of the reset. That's called reset column. And in the case of reset, all I want to reset is all just all of these data there. I'm going to copy them all, paste them in there. You can get it indented. There we go. And just change this to dot. And all we need to do is just apply it right so repeat the same thing for the others there so that is easy and that is clear and the other ones that i need to clear is i need to clear these ones as well the variables so come right down here paste and let's get them cleared right and I think in here we should enter zero there because I'm gonna need a number in there okay that is that done then the other one that is going to take some time is going to be the combo box in case of the combo box I would like to set them all to zero so let's see that's it right there so copy this combo with the identity let's change that to zero and paste that here there now the next one the next combo box is that of the member paste that here as well And finally, the method of payments. Let's look for that. Method of payment. There we go. Copy. And there. Right. Okay. So, have a good look at it. Those are the lines of code for the reset. All I now need to do is but look at this let's grab this membership and paste that there I might not use that anyway okay plan I need to do is to use the command to call that come right down and come to reset right here enter comma command equals reset so I'm going to now run it to try it out There we go. Enter some data in there and change this to whatever we want. We won't be able to do anything with this for now. So click on reset. Oh, let's say I think I haven't taken care of this yet. So I'm going to use another method for that. There we go. Reset is taken care of. Right. But the same reset, I'm going to be using that one way or the other here so but that's just to prove to you that the reset works okay the second part of of this function that's going to be for the reset as well because you see when I run this what you guys noticed was I was able to clear all of this 
Well, I did not include this because supposing the end user only want to play this and still have the the view form here open. So that's the whole idea. So the second part of this function is still going to be related to play or reset. So I'm going to copy all of this. Come right down here. Paste it right there. And I will now change this to I reset. Okay, within the I reset, I'm going to change my message here. The message box. I'm going to change that method to message dot. Let's see if it will come out with a message for us. We now want ask OK cancel. Let's see. Ask ask OK cancel this very one there. Okay. I've got the one I want. Now, what I'm now going to do is to say that's not meant to be confirmation. Confirm. So that means there's an error here. Get rid of that as well. So that would be confirm if if you want to add a new record. So I'm going to enter backslash to go to the other line. Okay, record. You can see that there. Okay, and you see there's no point in denting it right there, so that is fine. Now, if I reset record is, is greater than zero, I reset, reset. Okay, that's the reset there. Or maybe, maybe we should change the name to add new record. I reset record. Okay, I reset. That's fine. I reset record. So if I reset record this is greater than zero, I want you to call reset. That's it. Okay, call reset. Else else if I need to get it indented there yeah, or de indented. I reset record is less than and equals to zero then call the reset we call the reset as well call the reset and we will also want to clear txt reset dot delete delete whatever content we have on on the receipt itself comma end there so what's happening in here is if it's greater than zero just reset okay that means clear the ones on the left hand side but if is less than an equals to zero clear the whole system so what I will now do is I'm now going to copy this function here the new function I will come straight to my reset button here and change the command to I reset record. So if I run it, this is what you guys will now see. Enter my data in there. Okay, the data only go for that. If I select this now, there that comes up confirm if you want to add a new record if I click on OK this will only go off ok let's enter data here. ok confirm ok let's see nothing is happening yet 
let's check the system and see what's what's going on clear oh good we have some error okay let's come in here and run the error again okay now okay guys i think i found the error what happened there was here the variable that i used i wasn't calling the right function i mean so i meant to change this copy that and paste that in there okay all right so hopefully that should take care of it if i run it now and enter data in there let's say that's johnny and the so enter our value in here okay if i click on reset i only want to reset this part of it if i click on ok there we go we still have our data on here supposing we want to clear all so all we just need to say is cancel i need to cancel all of the record we have in there click on cancel there we go so that is working how i want that is good but if you notice this there was no zero in there before so let's get that zero on board all right okay to get this zero on board what i'm going to do is let's look for it um, you come right down here it's called member id or membership there we go you see the variable is called membership so that variable ought to be initialized with zero so let's go back up here where we have our variable i think i removed it that was why that is it and that was the one i removed i'm just going to copy it and paste it right there so if i run it now this is what you guys will see there we go you can now see the zero on board okay so that is fine can exit now yeah yeah that is that's fine now okay the other we've, we've taken care of three functions so far now let's take care of another function okay the next function is going to be for my reference number so let's say reference number yeah underscore number so that is going to be member underscore reference we need to get that indented equals and local variable x let's say that is random dot rand int rand int there we go and the value i want it and to enter let's say 10,000 plus 10,000 by maybe 6,000 plus there so reference number will be selected within this number so look variable run reference equals convert it to string and whatever that's converted to string i want it to go straight inside reference member reference dot set and what i was setting in there is going to be random reference paste copy that again 
there and the content inside the random reference I'm gonna make that ref dot set random reference but we really don't need this because I'm calling this alright that's no problem let's come right here let's look for our ref reference that should be right at the top okay reference that's it right there I've already called it so I don't need this really so let's run it first I'm just gonna get rid of oh no not that I'm gonna get rid of this let's run it first so I will expect we need a column there okay we also need to call this we need to call that inside the receipt so let me just copy that paste it inside the receipt for now we can always I will change it around as a comma command equals that so I'm gonna run that now just to see how it works yeah click yeah that generate my numbers okay that's fine that is good so just like I said earlier on I don't need these two so I'm gonna get rid of them that's too much coding so that's all that is required all right then the next thing I want to do is to actually call this so I'm gonna create another function so that very function is going to be known as reset so I'm gonna copy this let's call it inside function reset so here is going to be reset right inside receipt I've just called this function so instead of calling this on the button I'm gonna call the receipt so let's change that first receipt equals command equals receipt so I've already called the right function have a good look at it I've called the right function let's go back and complete this receipt here right underneath here I'm now going to say self dot txt reset dot insert open a bracket and comma um, backslash or tab backslash tab plus reference dot get so we're calling our reference onto the receipt now now say plus tab I need two of those close that so that's for the next one the next one is going to be first name first first name first name dot get then the next one is surname we need a plus sign here and plus sign here copy that the next one is surname dot get and the next one now is address dot get followed by dates of order dot get there and what is let's go for telephone Finally, we want the membership member. 
باشی membership dot get and that is all the restored so we're going to say move to the next line go to the next line there that is it you see all of these variable that I've called if you guys notice at the beginning they were all declared right here okay I'm not calling this 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 no I'm not calling this I'm calling this and, I'm, and this and this one so I've called all of them in here okay so I will now call that function come right down and come into yeah that's it right there okay all right that is taken care of now okay let's take care of the last variable since the membership payment is standard so we want to when we click on the check button so let me show you guys what i'm talking about you see when I check this I want it to display the price membership price so let's see this and make sure this works as we want anyway if I click on this there we go that is fine as you can see the only bit missing is the price okay that is fine so we're almost there guys so that's fine no there we go now in here I'm gonna not declare another one another function I'm gonna call that member membership underscore fees membership underscore fees equals let's say global variable pay okay pay one now let's say if value number four dot get equals equals one this is what I want the system to do let's complete this the system to do as follows so it's going to be self dot txt membership dot configure and change the state to equals normal state there we go and one local variable there item one equals float let's say membership is 50 then membership dot set equals let's say pound sign there plus str item one close and pay one equals membership dot get do I need pay one for something I might not need that because let's see in here let's see the membership membership txt membership or oh, it's calling membership that is fine copy that and come right in here and we want this in there 
is already in here so we might not need this if we need it I'll be back to it let's say else if this variable is zero if all of this is zero wants this the states to become disabled it was disabled here right and membership equals zero right I don't need this and this global variable I might not need it anymore let me try it out Let's see expect an indentation let's highlight it all come into format get it indented right Okay, we need to close this here. Hopefully, that should be the end of this error. Right, we'll click on this. Okay, when we oh, we need to now call. We need to call membership fees. Come in here, highlight that, and let's go straight to that checkbox. Checkbox right here. Comma. equals membership fees and let's run that and see let's run it and see now hopefully that's all check there we go guys that's fine so I think I'm offic officially done everything is done now that's good so I'm gonna get rid of this global variable I don't need that anymore get rid of this there we go so guys have a good look at my functions all of the functions used and those are the variables this is where I this those are still functions sorry and this is where I actually reset exit as exit and up here those are my variables yeah so take it from the top have a good look at the codes right so we will now run the program again Okay, let's run it one more time. Yeah, so I enter details in there. Let's say the name is Phyllis School address is this tree top house. Or road. Code telephone number and identity passport annual membership paying by visa yearly payment 50 pounds you add that okay guys and that is how you develop your own membership registration system Telephone number of Hancock
identity let's change that to something else now maybe it's a pay as you go right there we go and add Hancock in there there we go guys and that is how you develop your own membership registration system so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you enjoy it bye for now